Hey everybody, uh, yeah, this is Spirit Fair, and yeah, this was recommended to me by a viewer, and I thought I'd check it out for you guys. I'm not sure if we'll do a full playthrough of it, but maybe if you guys like it, we'll continue it. We're just gonna check it out. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a uh, looks like a 2D platformer with like animal characters, and you have this boat. You, well, you, I have a description here. You, it's like you play a person named Stella. A fairy master. I guess you... I don't know. You operate a boat? <laughs> I really don't know. I'm sorry. I should do a little bit more research, but... We're gonna check it out anyways. So yeah. New game. Here we go. Oh, there's local co-op. Interesting. wonder how that works. That animation on the t bottom right. Man, I like the art style. It's like a... Looks like an anime. Ah, uh, finally. Is there... Is there a... Voice acting? Um... What, why isn't my controller working? Right there. <laughs> never thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. I guess there isn't voice acting, that's fine. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Fair. Well, that is what I've been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still have a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, it is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see, I see you have brought a friend here with you. What is his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You'll be the new spirit fairy. Yes. Oh, so you're like the Grim Reaper. Cool. Listen, your task will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the island, and, that, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. It is Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you'll ever need. Wait, what are you? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness and the last remaining hope of the departed. Oh, so it's like a flashlight. So did we die and become the Grim Reaper or... Or the Spirit Fair? So were, were we alive once? What's going on here? 
Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of the lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. We don't look very overwhelmed, we kind of have like a, a grin on our face. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit You're the new spirit fairer, after all. Just one thing. One last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You find you might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Did that Everlight, like, tr transform into a paddle? Very useful. Oh, right, there we go. My controller works now. <laughs> and the boat just sank. Great. Press A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. I do like the the animation. Kind of wish you could zoom in a little bit. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. Oh, there we go. Right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, failed the first platforming. Don't judge me. Alright, I think I'm going to use the directional pad. There. Wait, how do you talk to this guy? B. Mm -hmm. Stella. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's X. That's why it wasn't working before. <laughs> Alright. It's really you. Standing up straight and let me get a good look mm -hmm. at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Uh, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found mm -hmm. me. But if you, you're here, that means... Or it means... Oh. You are the new spirit mm -hmm. fairer. You are replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've only been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off s sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Sardines and cigarettes. I could love, live off of that, actually. Sardines, I've, I've never had sardines. Anyways, funny how I used to be the one getting out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight mm -hmm. now. Of course. See that boat over there? <laughs> it's hard to miss. It's huge. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's com commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Why, why did he have like a shadow? Or she? I think it's Gwen. Oh, damn. He had like a weird shadow above her head. Right, don't fail. There we go. Can I go inside? I can sit down. Alright. Is this the save point? Over here. Yeah, look, look the shadow above her. 
Mm. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh, that's why. Wait, what were who were we talking to then? Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this is, this feels good. All right, much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it is, this is your boat. Right, the way I see it, this boat is our, yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're the spear fair, welcome stray spears is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true mm -hmm. forms. Oh, there we go. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. <laughs> Is that one of the gameplay mechanics? Is hugging people? Oh, there we go. You can give them food. A hug or mood. Let's go with a hug. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Wait. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Yeah, so it looks like a... A hoarder. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Elbert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your mm -hmm. boat. We should he head to Elbert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship mm -hmm. move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the, that cabin in the mm -hmm. back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, mm -hmm. remember? And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go open the cabin. Go open that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use. And you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. So I like—I I, kind of like a voiceless protagonist in certain games. This one isn't. Isn't too bad. Whoa, that was weird. It's locked. Oh wait, no, we unlocked it. There we go. That's the map projector. Alt Harbor. Alt Harbor, the Everdor, and then there's Albert's shipyard. Hey, it's a shark. <laughs> As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything myself. <laughs> you must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I, I know I must. I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Sharing the Everdor, the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it mm -hmm. all. As I said earlier. I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space from now. For now, don't hesitate to explore the mm -hmm. ship. Can't you can even give that fishing rod a try? The world is your oyster. All right, let's go try out the fishing rod. King of the world. Oh, shit. You can fall off the ship. 
Perhaps there's stuff on this side. When that wait. What does that say? I missed it. I missed what it said there. Can we play music? Oh, there we go. Hold X to reel. There we go. Herring. Can we eat the fish? What if that's somebody's true form? And we bring it on the bo on board. And they turn into a human. Or whatever. But I, I guess fish doesn't count. Oh, we stopped. Oops. I think I skipped dialogue there. Albert's shipyard discovered. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Couldn't we clean it ourselves? It's not the end of the world if we do it. Actually, it might be the end of the world. I don't know. Oh, you're going the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> this is a nice boat. Welcome to my shipyard, young travel traveler. Where our prices are customers' best friends. I'm Albert. Been in business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it up here after all. Gwen was right to point out, point you towards my humble enterprise. Huh. Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. <laughs> Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything, but the customers were always right, so I built him a newer one here, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call it... Let's call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. Rawr, 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 rawr. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint, since your lucky day. Since it's your lucky day, I, and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at a small, small, such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade your ship. Alright. Upgrade my ship. Which one do I want to? Which one do I want to do? This one. There we go. I have no money to to buy anything else. This one is twelve hundred. I don't know what that currency is. Cool. So you can like buy upgrades for your ship. Buildings or rooms, crusher lounge, chicken coop. Then you can upgrade it too. I wonder if these upgrades go with or extend to the boat size. Mailbox. All right, that's it. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is too crowded. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to read all of these dialogue 
or all the dialogue. Whoops. But we'll read it, like important ones, like cutscenes and stuff, like tutorial stuff. I don't think I have to read it out loud. Yeah. Let's talk to her. Gwen. Good. Albert gave it to you for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you. Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in, in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. She's paranoid. Anyway, let's focus on the task at, at hand for mm -hmm. now. Cleaning up this deck. Oh, I thought he was going to clean it up. Alright. can move your new bl blueprint table above the ca your cabin and select move option. Alright. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Right. I won't read that. There we go. Edit. Salvage. Are you sure you want to salvage? I think I think so. Let's do it. That was easy. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a how a guest house to your ship. It's necessary. Amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep? Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. Alright, let's go get a... Wait, can we already do the... Guest house? Like, do we have the blueprint for it? Yeah, we do. There we go. Build. Let's put it up here. Oh, you can actually, you can actually do that. Let's put it right in the middle of everything. I wonder, can we move it afterwards? I wonder if we don't like the spot. Let's build it right here. Need more materials for this garden, a field, kitchen. That'll probably be an important thing later. This guest house is very pretty. It's, it has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last I have this place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Ah. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Mm -hmm. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. You might have fi fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, you, so you should be uh, keep on using the blueprint table of yours. Mm -hmm. All right, you require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to get some. I mm -hmm. look. I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence and even a cower from it. <laughs> Talking about a uh, daffodil? A void that swallows all light included. It can make, take many forms and for me it, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide a few. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. It'll appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map. So you can't miss it. Well, I'll take some time to pre prepare myself. We should go to sleep first. There they are. 
I wonder if there's a day-night cycle. Can I go to sleep right now? Here, let's fish for some more uh, fish. <laughs> Is that the right like context? Fish for more fish. I'm only finding herrings. We probably find fish in different spots of the world. We'll probably find different fish in different areas. This is probably the most common. Fishing is actually pretty easy in this game. There's other games that are just incredibly difficult. Like, I remember Final Fantasy. Which game? I'm not sure if that's. Oh, here we go. Final Fantasy had some difficult fishing. Alright, alright. This is being a little bit dramatic, don't you think? Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. We'll, you'll get glims anyways. I'll wait here. Wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Alright. Will they just appear on the map? Oh, here we go. So this is the currency then. Oh shit. I can't jump that high. Wait, I guess I can go over here. But I can go on top of this building. Fish. It's a big guy. There we go. Okay. I'm really impressed. He rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely have lost your touch, Stella. Or mm. haven't lost your touch. <laughs> and even, even gather, gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. Mm. Slowly digesting myself. Alright, builds. Kitchen. I can build it on the roof. Well, that'd be annoying. It might be good for f future jellyfish runs. I oh, know. We'll just do it. Do it like this. I needed six. I wonder if he could have failed that. Can now use the kitchen. It's the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any other ingredients in and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pocket. Can't wait to see you in the, your cooking glory again. Got this. Alright, let's do some fishing. Or cooking. 
make corn. Alright, we'll make some herring. Wait, can you cook multiple fish at the same time? Yeah, you can. There we go. It's too dark to navigate. It will be pos possible again at dawn. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. You can see the boat head stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light, or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You mean, in the meantime, you can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just t chill on the deck and under the stars. I suggest y you go to sleep too in, in that cozy little room atop mm -hmm. the cabin. Alright. That's never been my forte. Mm -hmm. can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm -hmm. time. Early morning should do the trick. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's not even gonna eat the fish. How do we know it's when it's done? Is it done? Was it done? No, they weren't. Damn it. Shit. Alright. Screw that up again. Move five. Cook. Then look, there's a timer. I guess it'll ring when it's done. And there's like a little, uh, wa uh, watch or time tracker on the top right. I should go to sleep, but we're still cooking. I wonder if I can go to sleep and then come back and the food will be done. Who's gonna it's gonna just start a fire and burn down the guest house with Gwen inside of it. There we go. Oh shit. It's gonna burn down. I was I was joking. I was joking. Stop stretching. Toggle to look at your tra trajectory and display on the top or on and off. Please don't be burnt. There we go. Grilled fish. I can wake them up now. I can smell it. I can eat anything. Just give me some food. Grilled fish. Well, I, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. You need to get a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. For me, it, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I think... But, but I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. It's never the same thing twice. Oh, and forget, I, before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must, you know, field and garden, Grow different things and turn this ship into a durable. Should start with the fields. Need linen, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition, the field should go buy seeds, but that will come later. Need to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. Alright. 